Have you ever wanted to set up an altar or do you have an established altar already that just needs a little bit of refreshment and you're not really sure what energy to bring in? I've got you. I just spent two hours searching around my local metaphysical store, Tumbleweed Botanicals, and I'm here to help give you some ideas and hopefully, hopefully come out with some money left in your pocket. The specific altar that I am creating is for the eight pagan sabbats that make up the wheel of the year. And it's actually going to be set up right behind me right here. What did I get for my altar? Well, first, let me tell you what I already have, because as you can see, there's already some things on my altar. So first off, I have white table napkins. You can get them on Amazon in a pack. I'll make sure to put them in the description box. These are the best after using handkerchiefs and all different sorts of white um, cloths of, of types. The white table napkins are the ones that I have been most happy with. And I also have my Obio Bata for divination. And what is in that container right there is dried lavender. And it sits inside of a full tarot count, um, candle with crystals inside. Now, if you can see, it is quite narrow, but it's a little long. So I have to kind of get some creativity going on with how to set up this altar. So that is where I am going to show you all of my finds from Tumblr. First Tumblr. off incense. We've got the Egyptian musk, the golden sandalwood, the fresh rose, the English lavender, and the dragon's blood. Um, I love incense. I love good incense. I love incense that burns well. And they have quite the selection at my metaphysical store. Again, Amazon is a great place to find this if you don't have a local metaph metaphysical store in your area or a place that sells incense. And then of course you have to get something to put it in. So I got an incense holder, look at this thing. You can do cone incense in here or stick and it is a tower, which is obviously really useful to me because my altar is very narrow. So this having it go up and down this is going to be a huge space saver for me on my altar. The other thing that I really, really liked about this is the ash is still contained. And I don't know about everybody else, but I like my altars to be clean. And I don't like to have to do a bunch of cleaning and rearranging of my altar and washing of the napkins and stuff like that. I want it to last and last and be as clean and crisp as possible. So getting a incense holder that is contained, the ash gets contained, whether it's in a tall one like this, which by the way, this is the first one I've ever seen, or if it's in an actual box with a lid on it to help kind of keep everything contained, that makes my Virgo soul very, very, very happy. Right, next up, again, we need to bring in fire, the element of fire. So you do that through typically candles or something like that. But I don't have a lot of space and I didn't want really tall candles because I have a really beautiful picture above it. Plus I have the dried lavender, etc. So um, after walking around, I put probably 12 things in my, in my little basket, ended up putting them back and settling on these two oil diffusers. And I'm really excited about these because they are going to double as um, you put your tea candle in here. So this is where the fire element can come in. So you do have light, you do have fire. You can put the essential oils up here to help bring in the smell and bring in that sweet um, incense. But also if you're not using these, you can also use them as little offering trays. Of course you have to get oils because that's what they're for. Right. So I got Sun's Eye. We have Spicy Musk here. If you have never used Sun's Eye, this can, and they have to do a whole video just on Sun's Eye. So I've got the Wiccan Altar and I've got the Taurus Zodiac Oil. And also I have a handful of tea candles in multiple different colors to help bring in the color energy of whatever Sabbath I am going to be setting the altar because for. We don't blow out candles. We like to s'more them. Here is my little s'mores. So a little charging plate. So this is blue agate 
And it has this beautiful gold filigree for the tree of life, bringing in that ancient energy. I also got Moldavite candles with to go with my Moldavite ring. Um, for those of you that have seen my past lives, you can always check them out on my channel. Moldavite is one of my favorite, favorite crystals to work with right now. Um, its energy is just so potent for me in this time frame that we are in. And so I got more candles because these were doing great in our readings for Twitchy Tuesday. Oh, crystals. Yay. I haven't taken them off. I haven't cleansed them yet, but we got some rose quartz, green aventurine, moonstone, carnelian. So just a bunch of crystals that align with the Sabbath that I am going to be setting up for. I also got one ounce of mugwort and I use mugwort not as an herb for tea, but actually as an herb to burn. So mugwort is associated with the ancestors. It is a great spiritual opening, um, spiritual cleansing herb to burn. So that way it can wel welcome in the messages and the energy of our ancestors. And the last thing, the creme de la creme of everything that I got. And I am so excited for this. Voila! Welcome to my leather bound tarot holder. So it's got the class. You open it up. Look at how amazing it is. It's going to get these camera angles right. I am so happy about this. I knew I wanted, this is actually one of the biggest things that I went to the store for. I knew I wanted some sort of older container for my tarot deck. I wanted the deck to be placed on the altar um, and have it charged there to be utilized. And this was the find of the day. I am so excited to begin to use this. Here you have it. That is everything that I got to set up my altar. Hopefully that has given you some ideas on what things you can do to either refresh in your altar or even just get started. There will be a future video coming out about how to actually take all of these things now and set them up and use them in an altar space. Links to everything that I talked about will be in the description box below and make sure to stay tuned here by hitting that subscribe button, smashing that bell. We have some awesome new offerings coming up that are designed to help you take your spiritual practice to the next level. Bye everyone.